we're gonna go over the ingredients for my lemon supreme pie and then we're just gonna go right into making it and yes I'm gonna be using canned lemon pie filling but that's only to make it easy and convenient and quick now you can feel free to make your own pie filling normally I make lemon pie filling using the jello lemon pie filling um, that you cook and there's instructions on that box on how to make the, the, the pie filling for like lemon meringue pie. That's what my mom always used and it's delicious. It's a, a beautiful lemon custard. But this stuff, and I have purchased the Lucky Leaf brand. Um, this has no high fructose corn syrup and sugar is listed on the can as one of the ingredients. So that kind of makes me happy. What you're gonna need is a blind baked, fully cooked pie crust. And then we're gonna use a can of lemon pie filling. This is a 22 ounce can. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole thing. Like I said, if you wanna make your own lemon curd or your own lemon pie filling, you go for it. We're gonna use for the filling, uh, the cream cheese part. I have two bricks of cream cheese that are softened. I have a tablespoon of lemon juice, a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar or icing sugar, depending on where you're from, that's what you call it. And I'm going to whip one cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, you wanna make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature or at least slightly thawed out. I went ahead and I whipped mine just a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the powdered sugar on in there and then we're gonna beat this together. All right, now I want you to add the lemon juice in there and beat that until it's smooth. And something I forgot to mention at the beginning was a little bit of vanilla. This is optional, you don't have to, but it will make it just taste lovely. About a teaspoon. And go ahead and beat that in there. Okay, now we're gonna set that aside. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whip this one cup of cream. All right, our cream is now whipped to stiff peaks and that's exactly where we want it. And now you wanna take that heavy cream that you just whipped and you wanna fold it in to our cream cheese mixture. And you don't wanna stir it, you want to fold it. This is going to help give this mixture a really lovely light and fluffy texture. All right, we've got our whipped cream folded into our cream cheese mixture. And now, pretty simple. This is where we start to construct our pie. So go ahead and put your cream cheese blend right down there inside your pie crust. Just spread it evenly. I just like to give this a stir and loosen it up a little. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for at least two hours and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna just decorate it with some whipped cream, uh, swirls, and we're gonna cut into it and we're gonna let you see what it looks like. There you have it, a delicious lemon supreme pie. This pie is so easy and I think you're just gonna love it. And this is another great pie that you can put in your fridge and have it ready a few days in advance, no problem. All I did was put a little stabilized whipped cream on the top, decorated it up, and it's ready to go. Today we're gonna make a really simple Thanksgiving dessert, or you know, it can be for any time. We're gonna be making this really delicious, no-bake pumpkin cheesecake pie. It's so good, you guys. I made one to test out on the family and 100% approval. It's just so good and it really does have a great pumpkin flavor and I know you're gonna love it. We're gonna start off with a graham cracker pie shell. Now, for those of you who are more experienced, please feel free to make your own graham cracker shell or shortbread shell or even you put this in a, in a blind baked pastry shell, up to you. I'm using the extra large pie shell because I like the way it the filling sets in here. It doesn't overfill the pie. And you, they say you get two extra slices out of it, but this is the large one. So look for that if you can. I prefer it, otherwise use what you got. One cup of pureed pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. This is just straight pumpkin out of a can. You can double this recipe and use a one whole can and that will work. We're gonna use one cup of whipping cream, one box of instant vanilla pudding, and this is French vanilla flavor. You can use just plain vanilla, whatever you like. One brick of cream cheese softened at room temperature. We're gonna use a tablespoon of vanilla extract, 
I have enough in here to make my whipped cream topping as well. A teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and a quarter cup of sugar. And then I have another quarter cup of sugar and two tablespoons of ultra gel that I'm gonna use because I'm gonna make um, whipped cream topping for this. You can use Cool Whip if you so desire, that is perfectly fine. If you prefer to use Cool Whip on top, please feel free to do that. I'm not gonna go over how to make the whipped cream. I'm just gonna make it because I've made whipped cream in a video before. So I'm gonna bring the mixer over and we'll start whipping up this filling. All right, the first thing we wanna do is break up and whip our um, cream cheese just a little bit because we wanna make sure it's softened and completely room temperature. Now, whenever you make anything with cream cheese, I highly recommend that you allow it to sit on the counter for a couple of hours. Just try and remember to take it out of the fridge. When you thaw things in the microwave or, or soften them up, they tend to either get too hot in some spots and not hot enough in others. With cream cheese, especially if you're making a cheesecake, if you don't have it perfectly soft, it gets lumpy and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a whip and soften it up and then we're going to add the whipped cream and we're going to whip those two together until we have a nice whipped cream cheese filling. It just takes a couple of seconds really and now that you know your cream cheese is nice and soft I'm going to go ahead and add our, our whipping cream. Now this is heavy cream and then I'm going to start off slow so it doesn't splash too bad and increase and then as the whipped cream begins to stiffen and combine with the cream cheese, everything's gonna come together in a nice, soft, cohesive mixture. You're gonna wanna get in there a couple of times with your uh, spatula and scrape down the sides. I don't have a beater blade for this particular mixer. That is definitely something on my list to grab. Um, if you have a KitchenAid, you know, if you have a beater blade, you know how wonderful it is to have that. You'll be able to tell as the cream starts to thicken the mixture will start to um, definitely appear to become thicker. So at that point, you wanna get in there with your spatula and scrape it down and then let it continue to beat for another couple of minutes until you have a nice thick consistency. Now we're gonna go ahead and check it. You can see how thick, how much thicker it is now, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrape down and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on low and add in our sugar. So we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of sugar while the mixer is running and then just gradually shake it in get it well incorporated give it a good whip and now we'll continue on next thing we're going to add is our pumpkin and our vanilla instant pudding and we're going to beat this slowly until everything's mixed well and then we're going to kick it up a bit but right now i'm going to add half of my vanilla extract and i'm going to go ahead and add my pumpkin pie spice in here and then i'm going to crank it up just for a moment that pudding is going to help bring this filling together and that is your filling say what you will about no bake pie making something simple is always the best course of action this can be made a couple of days in advance stick it in your fridge and then it'll be ready on the day of your big meal i'm going to get in here and scrape down now we're going to build our pie Okay, here we go. I went ahead and I put this in a separate bowl because I mixed up my whipped cream topping. You guys, if you get little flecks of cream cheese that didn't blend in all the way, because you know the way those bowls are done, don't worry about it, it's no sweat. Spread it out in here, nice and even. I went ahead and I put my whipped cream in a Ziploc bag and I cut the corner off. I'm using a 1M tip. So we'll just go ahead and um, pipe a nice border around the edge. And as a finishing touch, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of pumpkin pie spice in, in a colander and tap it over. And there's our no-bake pumpkin cheesecake pie, all ready to go. So I'm not gonna cut into this one, but I have the one that I made the other night. It doesn't have pretty piping on the top because I just slapped the whipped cream on top with a spatula and you can do the same thing. Also, don't feel like you need to do what I did. I'm gonna cut a slice of that, I'm gonna bring it over and I'm gonna show you what it looks like because it is super delicious. Well, there you have it. I cut you a slice of the pie I made the other night and I have our finished pie that we made here in the video and it's, it's just beautiful. Give it a try, simple ingredients, not super expensive and you're good to go. Today we're gonna make the super easiest chocolate pie you've ever made in your life. And this, you can throw together in the on the morning of Thanksgiving. If you have an emergency and need an extra dessert, this is your go-to. So what I'm gonna start with, you're gonna need two 
four serving packages of instant chocolate pudding. And if you can get chocolate fudge pudding, even better. What we're gonna do, the way that you mix it up for a pie, <clears throat> I have two boxes uh, two, two pouches of pudding or two boxes of instant pudding and then I have three cups of heavy cream here so this is going to keep it nice and thick you don't uh, want it to be the consistency of regular pudding but if I mean if you like it that way then you can definitely do that your pie is not going to be quite as firm but I like to mix it up with the heavy cream because it gives it a mousse-like consistency and it just gives it a lovely flavor and it, it really does taste like an upscale chocolate cream pie. So we're going to take your mixer and we're going to blend this right up. On the box of pudding, if you're using a traditional box of pudding, it will usually give you instructions for the pie filling recipe as opposed to the pudding recipe, and that's what you want to follow. And I think generally on the box, it tells you to add more milk for pudding than it does to add for pie. So, and then what we're going to do is just pour this. Now, this is your choice. I have chosen a chocolate cookie crust. And I also purchased it from the store. This is entirely up to you. Okay? You can bake a pastry crust, which is something I actually prefer for a chocolate pie. But um, today we're going to go with this because it's a little easier. And I can get this in the fridge and out of the way super fast. Now you can see already how thick and beautiful this pie filling is and then you can make this in the morning and then you just pop this in the fridge and then if you're going to use it in the uh, afternoon or evening then it'll be all ready to go all right I'm just going to go ahead and decorate the pie and usually what I do is um this is a big pie and it's a high, mile high pie really and I'm just going to go ahead and start doing um some rosettes on the pie okay I'm just gonna take and do a little bit of shaved chocolate on the top for decoration. And this is just a Toll House bar. I just have a couple of squares of this chocolate. It's probably like an ounce or something. If you have some semi-sweet baking chocolate or even some mini chocolate chips, that'll do or whatever. There you have it, our beautiful chocolate cream pie that only took us about 15 minutes to make. And now we're gonna go put it in the fridge overnight this is going to be good if you make it in the morning and then you'll be ready to eat it at night. This is going to slice up just fine because that filling is nice and thick already. You're just going to have to settle for this view of the whole chocolate cream pie. We added some chocolate shavings to the top. It looks absolutely amazing. You take this to someone's home, they're never going to believe that you didn't go out and buy this somewhere for one thing because it's so beautiful and it's so delicious. You're gonna love it and it's really, really easy. I hope you give this super easy and delicious chocolate cream pie a try and I hope you love it.